So welcome to Croatia. So now it's free. It used to be a border. Just recently you had to um, wait for hours, but now, as you can see, it's all open. Just since the 1st January 2023. So, lucky Paula? No, not lucky. Otherwise, now we would be really out of Schengen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, one more country. So, it's gonna be where we're gonna stay from tonight, our new apartment. The first place we're staying in Croatia, and we have an amazing view here on the coast. Absolutely fantastic. Very nice. So, that's our new room. $34 per night, 30 euro. TV, private bathroom, and of course, a nice view you already have seen. So, the best here is the view, of course. The apartment for the for the price, I think it's fine. So back on the road, heading to our next destination, which is called uh, Zadar, and there we're going to buy first a yoga mat for Paula because she forgot hers in Liechtenstein. So right now we are in a city called Zadar and it is very famous. The main attraction is a music instrument, which is an organ, but it's not in a church, but it's on the sea. It's an ocean organ, which you're gonna see very soon. And they also apparently have a beautiful old town. So now we're going to the sea organ. We can't hear anything by now. I hope it's working, but it's also a beautiful town. Wow, you can even see snow on the mountains in the back. And what is this? A solar panel? So that is the sea organ, but you barely hear anything. It should be really quiet. Probably it's better if the sea is rough. Now it's quite calm. Are you from this town? No. Oh, no, you're not. Where are you from? To, from Switzerland. Ah, from Switzerland. Yeah. Yeah. Did you? Uh, Germany. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah. From which part? From the Italian part. Oh, Italian, the south. Ah, yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we just came from Switzerland, but we were in the north, at the Bodensee. The okay. Ah, St. Gallen. Mm -hmm. Yes, very nice. Nice, yes. The mountains. <laughs> All right. Enjoy. Ciao. Ciao. The tour group, eh? so you can see the big Asian tour group. So this town actually do have something to offer. It's not just this organ. There's more to it. So this downtown Zadar, but we don't have time because we are just passing through. So you really have to bring more time to visit uh, Croatia. We don't give the country justice because we're just rushing through to bring Paula out of the Schengen zone. I mean, we could just go to Bosnia, but I think this route is much nicer. Nothing against Bosnia. Bosnia is very nice and worth visiting, but uh, mostly the capital and uh, other cities yeah, in the Turn east. Right on D407, Next tourist attraction is going to be a waterfall. Yeah, so we're here in a national park. It's called Krka National Park and uh, they are supposed to have a very beautiful waterfall. The entrance is 15 euro in spring. In summer it's 28 euro. It's quite expensive. And in winter it's 7 euro. So the best time to come is winter for the prices, but the best time to visit is summer for the weather. Because now in spring even it is quite cold. I'm wearing three jackets. Paula is wearing her jacket and it is freezing. Have a look, it looks very beautiful already. So we arrived. Here starts the waterfall and now we're going to have a quick walk through the area. So right now we're here, you can see the map and apparently there are many waterfalls but we don't have much time. So quick quick, let's have a walk. 
Wow, look at this clear water. It is fantastic. And this walkway, very beautiful. Yeah. Even fishes. There's quite a current. You can't swim here. It would be dangerous. It's also very nice that we are completely alone here because it's late and nobody else is there. Don't carve the skin of the trees. Wild cat here at the waterfall. The waterfall cat. All right, we have to go. We even have snakes and other reptiles. Hopefully, we only encounter the cat and no more. So you can see how deep it is. In fact, this place is 10 meters deep. Oh, excellent. Here they even have some ruins. So probably this place already existed long ago. Naturally, in medieval times. Beautiful. Okay, you need to go. It's raining. It. It's definitely worth 15 euro and in summer 28, yes, if you go swimming, it should be fine. It's quite steep, but it's very beautiful. You shouldn't miss it. So, this is going to be a new Airbnb. It's not Airbnb, it's from booking.com. Yeah, but very, very nice. For 20 US dollar, you get this beautiful place with a private kitchen, private bathroom, and this is the bedroom with the TV. Excellent. Yeah, the best price we have seen so far in entire Croatia for what you get. Only a hostel might be cheaper. Or camping. Wunderbar. So that's it from this beautiful Airbnb. Highly, highly recommend the best we've had. 18 euro, 20 US dollar per night. Yeah. And today is beautiful weather. You can see clear blue sky, not a single cloud. And we're heading now to the next city, which is called Split. So welcome to the beautiful city of Split. You can see. Behind me this is the famous old town and uh, here I have a little map of the pier and we're going to check it out. We park for one hour, 
so we can find we can see what we can find within this town in the old town a quick look so you can see a little bit bigger map and we are here and this is basically the famous central palace which you want to see there's even a Jewish thing a synagogue I think and a moshe yeah they have a mosque synagogue uh, churches and here's yeah. the church it's all all different religions and here's the entire peninsula yeah, and here we are at the palace so over there this is the place you want to see very beautiful here this medieval hall you can see the roof is also moldy beautiful and over there you can buy tickets for the medieval chamber those towers around to, for protection and they said we don't have this one anymore it's covered with other buildings very important so, very interesting this place is almost 2000 years old so right now we are inside we paid the entrance 7 euro for adults and 4 for students and uh, they say it's a very well preserved place I mean yes the architecture but the rooms are kind of empty in the past they had something inside here because the Romans lived here they had maybe a dining room or some weapons we don't know what the rooms purpose was in the past but right now we just have empty rooms over there the toilets probably replicas because otherwise they would be protected you see outside is even more beautiful than on the inside they separated yes Oi. so we already bought the ticket but we can't get in because it was only for the very small section inside not even for this place Oi, oi, oi. Is this different? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every place has its different ticket. Boy, you're getting poor if you buy tickets. Ah, it's not part of this complex? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's part of the bell tower, okay. the treasury inside the museum where you can Ah, okay. I see. It looks even much better than what we have seen. They have stages. But this bell tower, I think we chose the wrong attraction. It looks nice. Look, you can go on top. We spent the money on the wrong attraction. But now we have nothing left. Not even for lunch. See some of the ruins. On the outside. See here is a little market of split. You can buy everything. Especially clothing. So we're done already. Here's the train station of split. We parked over there. 1 euro 30 per hour, but just for the first hour. In four minutes it's expiring, so we have to hurry up. It's very beautiful this street on the sea. Dalmatian dogs are from Croatia. You didn't know that, right? No, you didn't know that. So now you know. Again, wild pigs. For nine kilometers. Be aware. Where can they come from? From the bushes. They live by the sea. So, welcome to Dubrovnik. Here's the bridge and the support. Very pretty. It's a fantastic view. Over there is our Airbnb. The cheapest we found, $29. It has a beautiful view. You can see the cruise ship. The weather is fantastic. The harbor. The castle is somewhere behind there. So, this is our new Airbnb. $29. Small room, but a very nice terrace. With a fantastic view on the ocean. Very nice. Wow. Now we are in the 
the city of Dubrovnik. So now we are visiting the old town, which is famous for the Game of Thrones, but it's also a beautiful old town. We have to walk down the stairs to find the entrance. So here's the entrance to the old town of Dubrovnik. This, this place even has a name. So the name is Lovirenak, and you can see it's a beautiful old town. You can even go up. We even have a Game of Thrones souvenir shop. It's all about the Game of Thrones, but we're just happy to see this beautiful architecture. It's a beautiful uh, center here of the town. Nice architecture. People are always touching his nose for good luck, and you can clearly see that. I feel we're missing the sunset. Because here is all shadow. And uh, I just lost Paula. I don't know where she is. The problem is she has no mobile internet. But I guess she will find Wi Fi somewhere. So I'm just going to walk around and hope for her to get in touch with me. Uh -huh. Here they have a photo shooting of the, with the original drone, they say. Oh yes, but they have two, I don't know, this one and another one. But only if you purchase something, muck. So that's it here from Croatia. We're heading further to Montenegro. But right now, we're going to just enjoy the beautiful view and the great weather again. Another beautiful day.